Hey everyone, Dr. Alex Ritza here, and if you commonly get pain underneath your shoulder blade, you might think it's a muscle knot, but in all likelihood, it's probably an aggravation of one of the joints between the ribs and the spine. These costovertebral joints often get aggravated, shifted, or irritated when we spend a lot of time at the desk, and unless you take care of it, it can become a chronic issue that comes back over and over again. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a couple of strategies and a couple of exercises that might help you with this chronic pain underneath your shoulder blade. So in almost all the cases that we see in our office of pain underneath the shoulder blade, it's usually a shift or an irritation of the costovertebral joint, which again is that rib spine joint. This is usually the core problem. Yes, there's going to be some muscle tightness, some inflammation, and some irritation of the nerves that result in pain, but usually the problem is in the spine or is coming from the spine. Now, there's a few core causes or core problems that can lead to this coming over again, and we'll get into that in another video. But in this video, let's talk about a couple strategies that you can use at the office and at home to help combat this. So first and foremost, I find that these joints get really, really irritated when there's a lot of rounding in the spine at the desk. That's gonna cause the spine to round outwards and put more stress on those joints underneath the shoulder blade. So a couple of things that you wanna make sure of when you're at the office is that your back is being supported by the chair, the chair is holding you up that you're not rounding forward. And then another important thing is to make sure that you're not reaching really far forward for the mouse. Because when you reach far forward, you see that rounding through the back, that protraction or movement forward of the shoulder blade. And that's another great way to aggravate these costovertebral or rib joints. So you want to make sure that the mouse is nice and close to you here and that the arm is being supported hopefully by an armrest if you're spending a lot of time at the desk, 90 degrees and nice and flat through the wrist, and that's gonna produce a minimal amount of stress on those rib joints. Now, let's go into a couple of exercises that are gonna help you potentially stop this from coming on in the future. Hey guys, so if there was four things that I was gonna do on a regular basis to potentially help stop these ribs from shifting and becoming irritated, this is what I would do. I would do some foam rolling, and then there are three corrective exercises that we've gone over in the past, but that we'll review again today, because I think that they are specific for this particular problem, will potentially help some of the problems in the spine that might be contributing to this issue, and should strengthen some of the associated muscles. So first and foremost, on a regular basis, I would do some foam rolling along the spine and near those costovertebral joints. So with our foam roller, I would be rolling up and down the spine, over the middle, and then also moving a little bit over to the side. Now, one thing that will probably help specifically with this issue, and I'll show in a second, is when you get onto your spine, bring the arm around, that will expose those joints, and you can roll gently on top of them. The other three drills that I would do on a regular basis are the reach back, the bird dog, and a modified quadruped position, because these exercises are going to engage the spine, challenge the muscles that stabilize it, and help to stabilize the rib cage and the rib joints, and hopefully will help them not shift in the future. Now, a big caveat with all of these drills, if you have a structural problem in the spine, and the spine naturally really rounds forward, these exercises might not be enough to correct the underlying problem with your spine, and that's where you might need some professional help, but an examination would be required. But let's go over these drills just so you have a good idea of how to do them. First, we're gonna start off with the reach back. So again, the reach back is one of my favorite postural and corrective drills, sitting on our heels, potentially a pillow underneath our bottom, hand out in front of us between the knees, pointing straight ahead, similar to being in a sphinx position, but it's just one hand, other hand on the small of our back, 
twist up towards the sky for one second. And we can repeat this for two to three sets of 10 per side. The next drill that's a little bit more challenging is the bird dog. And again, this is going to strengthen the core muscles, the spinal stabilizing muscles, and also the rib cage stabilizers. For this, we have our knees underneath our hips, our hands underneath our shoulders. And if this is new to you, you can start off by simply raising up the arm so that it's flat, keeping the spine braced, the chin tucked, hold for one second, down, and then move to the other side, and then move one leg, and then the other leg. If you're comfortable with that, and you can do two sets of 10, with using all of the limbs, then you can move on to a diagonal pattern where again, the core is braced, the spine is flat, chin is tucked, and like the arm and leg, you're traveling up along a train track, straight in front and straight behind. Now, to make sure you're doing this drill as perfectly as possible, when you're doing it, make sure you push up through the hands to engage the serratus anterior muscle. and not letting it fall. That's gonna protract the shoulder blade and make this drill even more effective. And last but not least, we have our modified quadruped exercises. These ones are by far the most challenging, similar to the bird dog, but instead of being on our knees, we are up on our toes with a gap between the knee and the ground and pushing up through the shoulder blades and the hands engaging that serratus anterior. And with this drill, we can either do walks back and forth, making sure that you're engaging that serratus anterior, pushing up through the hands, or we can do a modified bird dog. These exercises should help strengthen the muscles that stabilize the spine and stabilize the rib cage, hopefully help to correct the structure and the health of the spine, and hopefully help you with that recurrent pain underneath your shoulder blade. If you've noticed you've tried these for a couple weeks, that's where you want to reach out and contact your local spinal expert. As always, I hope these videos were helpful, and you guys have a great day.